What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steve Renner here and welcome back to another video. Today we have a double shoe unboxing. Super excited to show you guys what we have in the next for testing, but before that we got a good old long run workout. Welcome back to another video. Always get excited for these shoe unboxing videos. We're getting a lot of shoes at the moment for no other reason than, I guess it's just the way the cookie's crumbling at the moment. I've purchased one of these pairs today. One of them has been sent to me. I think you guys, I enlightened you last week. One of them is a trail shoe um, to replace my torrents, uh, which kind of gave up the ghost way too early so the other one i'm excited to share with you but as i said a long run workout first we're out here today i'm hoping to get somewhere between hour 45 and two hours in and we're going to be doing some tempo work a little bit similar to what i did last week so i'm going to do like a 45 minute warm-up and then six by five minutes at around half marathon pace so between 5.40 and 5.50 and then uh, 45 minute cool down, something like that. So I'm doing a little five mile trail loop, heading back to the industrial estate, get the tempo done and then I'll do that this trail loop that I'm doing now in reverse. Training's been going really well at the moment but uh, I'm aware I haven't made a Need for Speed episode in a couple of weeks so that'll be coming back next week and I'll fill you all in on how it's going because it's race week next week. We've got the new at nine so I'm super excited for that as well. And then knuckle down, we are two miles in to this warm up and uh, touch base with you when we get to the tempo. Five minutes away from rolling into this tempo um, and we'll see how we get on today last week we did five by five minutes in the long run and that was good held solid ran around that 547 pace that I wanted we're just hoping for more of the same today although emergency gel might get used <laughs> we'll see how we go so yeah just gonna roll into this I won't touch base between every tempo I'll just touch base at the end and let you know how we get on and then we'll roll into the unboxing, but I uh, just enjoy taking you along the journey with this just to give you a little bit more of a real insight into how training goes, as well as all the other cool stuff that uh, is going on, like the unboxing. So let's buckle up, four minutes to go. Let's do this. finished done that was really hard going uh, broke into the emergency gel I've had half of it now so um, yeah just had a bit of that after rep three and a bit after rep five just it's giving me a bit of a boost because uh, 
whether we did anything or not, I've got no idea, but the fatigue is real. I think the fatigue from the double on Monday just carried with me this week. We hit the we hit, hit 540s on the way out and then low 550s on the way back. So slightly slower than last week, but nothing horrific and an extra rep. Can we grumble? Not really. Gonna get a cool down done and uh, let's go unbox these shoes. So there we go, back home, survived the long run, just over 16 miles done, had to cut the cool down short. We're gonna dive straight into these two boxes, can't even hold them right. We've got an ASIC shoe, we have an Innovate shoe to go through with you. Super excited to share these with you, but first let me just tell you that cool down on that long run, everything went peak tong, everything that could go wrong went wrong. We had a toilet stop, we had to stop the run, we had to walk home, I was seeing stars. I have not emptied the tank like that in a long time. And I think there was a few reasons. I had a really decent big pasta dinner the night before, uh, but my stomach was still in knots from having pizza two nights before that. I really am, my gluten sensitivity is getting really, really bad now and it just, I didn't eat in the morning because I could feel my stomach was a bit jippy and I just thought to myself if I eat, I'm gonna cause more issues, my workout's gonna be a nightmare. So I guess at least I got through the workout, but then I really did feel empty after that, hence the emergency gel opening. But we got it done, it is what it is. It's more decent miles banked. Which one should we start with? We're gonna start with the ASIC shoe. So this is a trail shoe. This is what I ordered in replacement to my Torrance. Um, just looking for a shoe that I can take out on the trails, which is kind of a bit of a commuter from road to trail shoe. Can do some pavement miles, but mainly trail miles. Nothing too aggressive. Um, just something that I can use a lot around here, especially during the winter when it gets quite, quite mucky, quite muddy underfoot in places. Most of the trails stay very runnable and I still use my road shoes, but there are some sections which could do with some trail shoes. So these are gonna be the new ones. And I'm excited to say, but I'm gonna be testing out the Asics Fuji Light 2. So these came on Seth's recommendation actually. I watched his videos, I was very curious about these back in the summer when he was testing them out. And he said that these were an absolute winner. I've had my eye on the Asics Trail shoe range for a while now. And I didn't know which one to go through. I saw the one that he talked about, I can't even remember the name of it now, but it was a bit more max cushion and it was a bit more of an all round, I think it was the Trabuco Max, wasn't it? That's the one, and he really loved that as well, but I wanted something relatively light and nimble, and believe it or not, I've taken this out, it fits like a glove, as in I've taken it out of the box, I've not run in it yet, and it weighs less than my Nova Blast. Only just, but it does, which is really good. I think it's like 338 grams or 340. It feels really decent, and for a daily trainer, that's really where I like to cap the limit in terms of running anyway. I don't really like to go over 350 grams. They just start to feel heavy and clumpy in my size. But this thing comes in lighter and it feels so good underfoot. I genuinely am excited. So this is gonna be the Torrent replacement. And this is the one that I've purchased with my own money. It feels good, it's comfortable. I think it's gonna be a great shoe. Grip looks really decent. The lugs aren't deep, but there's an aggressive pattern on there. There's a lot of lugs. So I'm hoping that it's gonna serve me well during these winter months, along with the Speed 2 Shield. And then the exciting one, so this has been sent to me by Innovate for the purpose of review. I've never tried Innovate shoes before, but you better believe, Again, I've taken this out of the box. I've walked around in it. It feels so comfy. This is an award-winning shoe right here. This is um, the Terra Ultra G270. And my word, what a beast of a shoe. And again, believe it or not, weight is really decent. Same weight as my Nova Blast. This is not heavy. You've got to remember, guys, a lot of the trail shoes that I've had in the past bar the torrents have been super heavy. We're talking they might touch 400 grams and above. Um, so again, this is 340-ish, pretty much the same, and it feels so comfy. And I'll tell you what really stood out to me. This is a zero drop shoe, so I'm gonna ease into this one gently, just like I did with my Ultra shoe last year, the Olympus 4, but my word, the foam in this feels so comfortable. I can't wait to go and run in this. This feels a lot more robust than the ASIC shoe. The grip, uh, again, lugs are deeper, so I might be able to get away with like one or two miles to the trails. Thankfully, I live half a mile from the trails, um, but this really will predominantly be very much 
a trail shoe not want to mix roads in with this as well but gosh this feels amazing and i can't wait to test this out this is as i said award winning and from a few different places last year this came in with some brilliant reviews and already just walking around i can tell that that's the case so i have this one to test out as well this is going to be the fun one to test the asics one i just kind of have a feeling i know i'm going to like it and it's going to be do good and it's going to do what i want this one is the unknown for me i've never tried innovate again seth raves about innovate loads of people i know around here rave about innovate they use the mud claws for cross country uh, if they haven't got spikes so they've got such a good reputation I can't wait to test those out. So those are going to be coming over the next couple of weeks. The ASICS one probably first. Um, and then, because I want to try those this week. And then I've got my race this weekend. And then I want to get into the zero drop ones the week after. I'm just not going to risk going into zero drop this week. Because I have the race this weekend. Not that it's a goal race or anything. But I know with the ultra last year, I started doing like a four, five, six mile run. And then worked my way up to doing a long run in them of about three hours in them, I think. So, and I had zero issues at all. But I do advise a word of caution when you are going to a zero drop drop shoe just takes your body a while to get used to it so I'm going to test those the week after next exciting stuff so that's it for today guys those are the new shoes in for testing now I cannot wait to get those out there for you but leading into race week now plenty more videos upcoming collaborations testing more testing of shoes you name it it's coming away if you enjoyed today though guys make sure you give it a like share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and as always I'll see you on the next one until then